Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, in this short clip, I'm going to outline how to download and utilize a database tracking sheet. I'm also going to explain why I use it and how important it is to run your business like a business and track your progress. Remember, numbers don't lie, and what I mean by that is that all too often, someone who's been in the business for several months may think they're actually working the business when in fact they're not. Uh, I believe this database has helped me to keep me honest with myself. Now, in our group, we say that it usually takes 100 contacts to become good and approximately 1,000 contacts to set the foundation for elite level ranks. Now, I arrived at this number after conducting interviews with multiple elite level distributors. Some said 800, some said 1,000, some said 1,200. On average, it was 1,000. Um, now, did you get that? The majority of elite level distributors have had to make approximately 1,000 contacts to achieve this level. And dare I say, if someone is unwilling to pay this small price in the next two to three years, please stop this video now because the rest of it will not make any sense to you. In other words, this video is for business builders only. Now, some people will ask why I focus on contacts instead of the number of presentations. And first I wanna say that if you contact enough people, you will get presentations. But the reason why I focus on the number of contacts I make is because it's really the only thing I have 100% control over. Um, think about it. Doing a presentation is influenced by the other person's desire to want to meet with you. Enrollments are also subject to the prospect's willingness to join your team. And whether or not a distributor actually does anything with the opportunity is also up to them. Therefore, the only thing you or I have 100% control over is the number of contacts or initial contacts that you make, period. So my focus is typically 10 to 20 personal contacts per week for the first two years. That's what we've done to go Pro 5 in the first six months and now moving on to Pro 6 and beyond. Now, one side note, I believe that the reason why it takes a thousand contacts is because you have to be willing to be terrible before you're good and good before you're great. I believe that once you've mastered the art of the invite, your initial contact to presentation ratio does get better. But in the beginning, we all stink at this. And may I be so bold to say, just get over that. Go for the numbers. Uh, just like everyone else, I constantly tell myself I am not that special. If it takes the average elite 1,000 contacts, what makes me think I can do it in less? So with that, let's get right to it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is on your Facebook page, you want to type in Legacy Life Pro. Click on it. And over here in the search bar, you're gonna click database, or you're gonna type in database. When you do that, it's gonna bring you up every module that has the word database in it. Look for this right here in the middle where it says database tracking sheet. Click on it, click on it again. You wait a few seconds for it to finish loading up. It takes a while, you see where it says working. All right, so once it's finished loading, you go up to the top left where it says file. Then you're going to download as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. That way you're gonna load it directly to your laptop. So you're going to click on save as. You can put it anywhere you want. So I'm gonna put mine directly on my desktop. And then I'm going to open it up. Okay, so now the next thing you're going to want to do, top of the sheet where it says enable editing, click on enable editing. All right, so now the first thing you're going to want to do is in cell A2, you want to enter the date that you are launching your business. That could be your enrollment date, but if you've been in the business for two or three months and you really haven't done anything with it and something's happened and now the switch has been flipped and you are absolutely sure you're going to build your business, then today would be the day you want to put on here, uh, enter into this box. So uh, in this, for this example, I'm going to enter March 1st, 2019 as my enrollment or launch date. And if you notice... Uh, cell C2 changed. It now says 2.29. That's because 
March 1st was the date that you enrolled or launched. Uh, B2 has a formula that will keep track of today's date. And so this will automatically calculate how many weeks you've been in the business. Uh, cell D2 will calculate what your average number of contacts is per week. And I'll explain that here in a little bit more. And then E2 will estimate the day that you're going to reach your 1,000th contact. Remember, that's the goal, is that you want to get to 1,000 contacts as soon as possible. All right, and then uh, F2 uh, gives you the number of the average number of presentations per week. All right, and then all along here, these formulas just simply calculate and track the data that you enter. All right, now the first thing you want to do is you want to enter 500 names. Before you do anything else, you want to enter 500 contacts here. Now, the reason why you want to do that is simply this if you go and you contact maybe 10, 15, 20 people, right? And uh, let's just say you get two or three no's or five no's right off the bat. If you only have a list of about 20 people or so, psychologically, it really messes you up. And you start to think, wow, I'm only down to 18 or I'm only down to 15 or 10. Um, what if those people say, no, I'm out of business? And what happens is people tend to shut down. If you have a names list of 500 people, then what will happen is you will become bulletproof. If somebody says no, it doesn't matter. You know you've got 499. Now before, you know, there'll be some people who say, well, gosh, I don't know 500 people. And I'm gonna challenge you that yes, you do. Uh, if you look in your phone uh, contact list, or if you look on your Facebook page, I am sure that there are over 500 people there. Um, and even if you don't, there are, Facebook allows you to have up to 5,000 friends that you can reach out to. So my suggestion is if you don't have a whole lot of contacts on your Facebook page or you don't have a contact or you don't have a Facebook page, you know, question you need to ask yourself, do you really want to build this business or not? Because again, 500 contacts in, in the first year and then another 500 contacts in the second year, that gives you the momentum and the numbers to set the foundation for building an elite level distributorship. So the question is that I asked earlier is, is a thousand contacts worth going through in order to make a six figure ongoing residual income, right? So I'm gonna go over here to the sample sheet, which gives you a little, I filled in some of the, um, some of the slots and gives you a better idea of what we're doing. So let's just say, for example, you have John Smith and I just use John Smith for all of them. Obviously that'll be, it'll be your names list, uh, your phone numbers, how you know them, the initial date you contacted them, the day you sent the ABC prime time, and the day that you followed up with them. So now in this first case, um, you sent the ABC prime time. They did not want to, oh, you did follow up, but they didn't want to sit down with you or meet with you or anything. Okay, fine, that's it. So it ends there. And now you're going to come over here to B4 and you're going to put the uh, next follow-up date. So let's just say he says, no, I'm not really interested in the business. Great, you don't mind if I follow up with you in about six months? He says, well, yeah, sure, I don't care, you know, whatever. And so you, uh, you put six months from now, you're gonna follow up with him. Same thing happens on uh, the next line here. You go through, you ed you've entered your information, you contact him on the second, send him the ABC prime time on the second, follow up with him. And he says he does wanna do a presentation, so you follow up and set up a presentation for the next day. He sees the presentation, whether it be person to person, via Zoom conference or a pre-recorded presentation. He says he's not interested and so then that stays right there. You follow up with him, you set this date over here on B5 as your follow-up date for six months from now, okay? Next one would be John Smith. Again, you enter the information, you contact him on the third. He sees the ABC primetime on the third. Do the follow-up on the third. He wants to see the presentation so you set up a meeting, you do it, uh, the presentation on the sixth you follow up with him on the 7th, another follow up on the 9th, another follow up because he's got a ton of questions on the 11th. Maybe you, you certainly are going to do third party validation way back here, right? You finally do a fourth follow up and on the 15th, he enrolls as a distributor, congratulations. And you do that over and over and over again. Sometimes you're not gonna get past the ABC prime time. Sometimes you won't get past the initial contact it'll look like maybe something like this. You send them the, uh, the initial contact and they never respond back. 
Okay, whatever that is. Your goal is to get through and do 1,000 quality contacts. And if you notice, every single time now, these formulas pick it up. So let me show you, for example, look at this H3. Look at what happens when I replace, there you go, see? Right, see how it automatically picks it up. All right, so that's a great tool to have. Now, what you're gonna see is that this person in this example, they're averaging um, 13.13 contacts per week. That means that there's an estimated date of August 15th, 2020, when they will have reached their thousandth contact based on those averages. Now, they're also showing about 3.9, almost four presentations per week. That's a really good start for this, uh, for, for this person. All right, now, the other thing you're gonna wanna do is, the, again, going back to column B. That's, this is really important. This is where your follow-up is. So how do you know who do you have to talk to today? Well, here's what I would do is I'd come back up here, right? And I'm gonna, you go data, sort, by column B, it sorts everything, all the names for you. And so I know that for tomorrow, because today is the 17th for in this example, see here, I know that tomorrow I'm gonna follow up with all of these guys tomorrow. These guys I've already contacted and these guys I'm gonna go ahead and do the initial ABC prime time. All right, I hope that makes sense. Again, the idea is if you, if you use the tools uh, the tools will work for you. Um, it will track for you and it'll give you an estimate of how quickly you're going to get to that 1,000th contact because that is the coveted goal uh, in order to get to that uh, elite level distributor. So hope that worked out. Love you guys. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right, I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, one last thing is that you never ever want to delete a contact from your list. And, and there's several reasons why. One of them is that you never know if a year from now or two years from now, or like me, three years later, um, they, might be, they might come around, they might hit what's called high noon as I did. Uh, another reason is that, let's just say you contact 700 people and you've deleted 200 of them. What's the tracking system gonna say you actually did? Only the 500 that are still on there. So you never wanna shoot yourself in the foot by uh, deleting one of those contacts, all right? All right, so anyways, guys, thank you so much. I hope that helped, and uh, we'll see you guys at the top.